Hello everybody, this is Ray speaking. Um, I'm very excited. I want to show you a quick way how to make splash pages. It's very easy to do and you can do it with a free website uh, called Wix.com. If you don't already have an account with that uh, website, then it's free to join. Just uh, go to Wix.com and um, you know sign up. That's it. Simple. And I'm going to show you how to make a quick splash page that loads it very quickly and um, you'll be able to use it to market your uh, affiliate stuff or, or your own websites to traffic exchanges which I believe is the best way to gain to get your list building but you have to use them correctly and like I said before you have to be creative have to uh, create a web uh, splash page and you also have to put an opt-in form so people opt in and that's how you you know it's all about building the list that's where your customers come from okay so without further ado I'm gonna send you to my desktop and we will uh, start making a splash page all right everybody here's my uh, my desktop okay now I already have some stuff going here okay so uh, we're gonna start here with Wix.com um, if you don't have an account with Wix.com, all you got to do is sign up and you get a free account. Um, and to build your splash pages, you're going to want to create a new account by going to this create new account. Okay, that will bring you to a brand new page. And um, no, we don't want that. Okay, so that'll bring you to a, a brand new page that's uh, free because I always do blank pages now that's very important because you want to have control over what you put in there as far as content goes and this is going to be the area we're working with right here so it's very conducive um, so the first thing that you want to do to start is you want to now a splash page is nothing but a, a page that pops up it's its own website like this is and if you're doing it with another website, say you have a GoDaddy account and um, you're, you're building pages on your uh, website, uh, say mine is Barrel of Money and I have several web pages developed. If you don't keep a plain white uh, background, it's going to show up everywhere on your website. So just remember that. And um, if you don't, then you'll realize it when you do make a mistake and see that you have different colors <laughs> all over the place. But anyway, to get back to what we're talking about, first thing we're going to do to build a splash page is you need to add a picture. So I'm going to add a picture here without a frame. And this is going to go right to the pictures that I have in my database here and I'm gonna pick this picture only because I could use it as a banner as you can see okay so now this is gonna be my banner that I'm gonna use okay and see I'm gonna just center it right up there okay now what you want to do is that I'm gonna be uh, promoting uh, online business Academy that's gonna be something that uh, I'm starting okay so that's an image, okay? So that's starting your splash page. So then you want, you might want to add another image in there, like to add down here, like your own picture. It's always good in advertisements to put in a picture of you. People see your picture, they remember you. Um, I kind of like, uh, let me do this one here. Okay, so I'll add that picture in there. Now see what's nice about this is you can size it to however you want. Okay. I'm just going to put it in here just like that. Okay. Now if you want to add a little uh text in there. Okay, I want to choose a text. So I'm going to use a paragraph and I'm going to edit the text, edit text. Okay. And then it'll give me all this here. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to say um, join me and sign oops, up for my free. Online 
business. Academy. Okay, so now you can stretch this out to make everything fit there. And you can probably do something with that, like make it uh, make it bold. Maybe make the font a little bit larger. Uh, like maybe uh, let's see, let's go 16 times. Okay, then you're gonna stretch it out a little bit more. There you go. And let's make the font. Uh, let's make it a dark red. Okay, then if you wanted to, you could have a little highlight there, uh, like maybe like that. Okay, okay, now that's how you do that. Uh, maybe you want to make this all bold too. Okay, and then maybe, maybe make it a darker black, like a real dark black. There you go. Stretch this out a little more. Alright, and maybe even. Do that. So you can play with this all as much as you want to. It's pretty cool. I like this program. Okay, so then you get rid of that box. And you just move this up here. Like so. And I'm going to add another box to that. And I'm going to say... Edit text. Give me your best email. Hop on here. Okay, then you can make this darker, maybe bold, stand out, or maybe even uh, instead of doing that, you could make the font red again, put in a background. Okay. Maybe even make it a little bigger, like 18, okay? That's how that looks, right? Okay, now you're saying, Ray, where, where are they going to put the... Let's see, just line that up like that. Okay. Oh, Ray, where are they going to put their, their name and everything? Well, this is how you do that, okay? So you're going to add... your app and it's going to be HTML app okay you see this box right here and then I my autoresponder is called get response okay um, there's other autoresponders out there that are just as good um, I just happen to start working with get response and, and don't want to leave <laughs> uh, but there's also free autoresponders out there and, and they all have when you create a um, a web form they call it they all come up this is and I'll, I'll show you what what it looks like here this is what your your opt-in is going to look like now I'm just asking for the best email okay so I can take this this uh, the name out of there okay so that's all I'm gonna have best email okay sign up for free then you go to the next step here's the next step I'm going to just use my default thank you page. Yeah, I know it messed up. Okay, so we'll go to the next step. And so you're going to just say, you know, I want to install my own web form and show the HTML code. And what I do is I just select all. 
copy it and go back to where I was working now in this box here you're gonna do the settings and you're gonna go to HTML code place in your code update it okay so this is what it's gonna look like so I can take this box and I can move it Try to move this thing. There we go. So you can move it anywhere you want to. See? And there you go. That's your splash page right there. So if you preview it, that's what it looks like. And you can type in your email address in there. Go send. Uh, let's see. Um, if you save it, let's save it. Uh, Go back to the editor here. You want to save it. Okay, so your work was saved. Okay, just saying that it wasn't published yet. I don't need to see that no more. So then you just publish it. Now you can uh, publish. Okay, congratulations, you just published. Okay. Now you can share it on Facebook and Twitter if you want to. Okay. So then all you have to do now is, uh, once it's published, so now we're back to our main page, and it's called Splash Page, right? So, um... I want to get the name of this page so let me go back to uh, my account okay so now this is going to be your URL so if you right click on that say copy the link address go up here paste it in there alright so there's your splash page for some reason this computer is not running very good um, I think the uh, video cards about to die on me but anyway that's how you do it and like I could put in my website I mean my um, email now and sign up And you're almost done. Now see, I got a double opt-in on there, in which I and and that's why I I advise this for everybody to put a double opt-in. That way, you know that they subscribe to you, and and don't give you a bogus email address. So then you would go to your email account, and you would you would confirm it, and then it would take you to um, the. Um, Internet Business Academy, which I haven't created at all yet, but this is just to show you how to build a splash page. Try. I hope it wasn't too long. Okay, um, let's go back to my um, my monitor. Well, everybody, I hope that was a very informative video. I hope it wasn't too long. Um, that way, uh, Wix is very is a free uh, website. Like I said, you can build web pages for nothing and host them online it's it's really simple and easy to do and it's free that's the best part it's free also have a GoDaddy account that uses kind of the same interface with pictures and things like that you could always get a photo bucket um, account photobucket.com upload uh, pictures there as well to use on your websites so um, if you have any questions just email me and um, I'll be glad to respond to you with any answers that I might be able to give you. If not, I'll try to send you to the right places to get answers. Um, we're all here to help each other. And with that said, have a nice day. I'll see you at the next video, okay?